I've lived in this neighborhood for about four years now. Before that, I used to live in an area called Smithfield. That's the house where we grew up. It's so peaceful being home. Like in New York City, you never see green until you like get outside to like Long Island or something like that. Go for a walk and you know getting some actual fresh air. There's no place like home. What else can you say? hard being away from my family. We're all pretty close I guess, so it's really really hard. I just do what I normally do for them as an older sister. Play with them, spend time with them. But I also have to be mindful that I need to do a good job of work for them. I'm shy at first, but if I'm comfortable around people, I'm very chatty and whatnot. So I think I would be quiet, quirky, weird one, I guess. I'm kind of like my little brother. I actually really, really do miss school. Just the whole idea of being, you know, in school, my friends and whatnot. Oh, I've become so fat, you know, yeah. so And every time I see you, yeah. you're always in the paper. I love that. You've come oh, so far. Yeah. She was here, yeah. how many times? <laughs> A lot. <I> <laughs> When I was younger, I used to always say, I want to be like my mom when I grow up. My mom is like the most hardest working, independent woman that I've known in my whole life. And I guess that's why I'm so independent in our relationship. We are so close. It's so much fun, actually, just being around all these different creative, you know, stylists and to see what they do, shooting in my hometown, in my family home with my family, you know, letting my family see what I do for a living is honestly a dream come true.